In jewelry stores on 47th Street and 5th Avenue, the important trust between merchants has been violated. This 10-ounce gold bar, costing nearly $18,000, turns out to be a counterfeit worth just about $3,600. It's filled with tungsten, which weighs nearly the same as gold, but costs just over a dollar an ounce. Ibrahim Fado bought the bar from a merchant who sold him real gold before, but he heard counterfeit gold bars were going around, so he drilled into several of his gold bars worth about $100,000 and saw gray tungsten, not gold. I really got sick, you know. It's, uh, it's a big amount of money, and, uh, and I could not believe that that somebody very professional, the clever, it's perfect. What makes it such a devious crime is apparently a real gold bar is purchased, including one with a serial number and papers. It's then hollowed out, most of the gold is sold, and tungsten is put inside because it weighs almost exactly the same as gold. And then the gold bar is rebuilt, so you can't tell, no scratches. That's a pretty sophisticated operation. MTB, the Swiss manufacturer of the gold bars, says customers should only buy from a reputable merchant. The problem, he admits, is Ibrahim Fadl is a very reputable merchant. We have reported it to the FBI and the U.S. Secret Service, and the matter is currently under investigation by the authorities. The Secret Service, which deals with counterfeit, says it's investigating. In March, gold bars filled with tungsten showed up in England. With New York now hit, it may mean an international rings involved.